Good morning, Makadi. My name is Cindy Scarberry. I'm the executive director of the Opry Heritage Foundation of Oklahoma, and we have the Granville School of Music. You are watching lesson one of four, where we're gonna look at the Shona language and play music games and learn about this wonderful culture from Zimbabwe. And the first thing that I said to you after good morning was Makadi. And Makadi means, how are you? And so usually when you say makadi, we would do a firm handshake, look in the eyes, making eye contact, and then you clap twice. If you're a female, you're gonna turn your hands, not straight up and down, but in an angle and cup them and say makadi and cup twice. If you are male, if you're a boy or a man, then you are gonna put palm to palm and fingers to the front and same thing, makadi and it still has a little bit of cup to it. So those are some of the things that we're gonna do. We're gonna learn about the language as we learn about some of the games that they play in Zimbabwe. I had the pleasure of going to Zimbabwe thanks to a 2006 grant from Fun for Teachers and also the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence. So if you know teachers out there that wanna travel, make sure that they look that up. And I was able to work with Ancient Ways, a nonprofit where we learned the games and the culture in trade for us helping them with their work while we were there. So here's what we're gonna do today. We learned our greeting, we'll practice that. For our warm up, we'll do some stretching and we will learn a new game. We're gonna learn a song, and this song is really special to us because this was the song that they sang to us as we walked into the village. And so you will learn about how we come together as friends and not let anything come between us. That's Ngat Sangani. Then we're gonna look at playing instruments and review some of our music terms. And for closing, uh, we are going to learn a few more phrases that we'll use in the other four lessons. So thanks for joining. I hope you're excited to learn about this. And again, let's ask each other, how are you? Makadi. Good job, I love it. All right, so our first game is Imberi Shire. And on Imberi Shire, we are going to learn about different positions or different ways that we're going. So the first word is imberi. And so we're gonna try that together and echo back and forth. Are you ready? Here we go. M be ri. Mberi. Great job. The next word is shure. Shu re. Shure. Ah, I hope I can hear you out there. Let's try that again and a little bit louder. Imberi shure. Very good. All right, these are kind of tricky, but they're really fun to say. Ku. Now the rujigi, we're gonna split that up a little bit. Ru, ja, gi. Good, now let's put it all together. Rujigi, rujigi. Very good. Kurujigi. Nice, you already know ku. Let's try this other one. Bosque. Let's split it up. Bo, square. Bosque. Nice, all right, the whole line. This is the hardest line in the whole game. Kurujigi, ku bosque. All right, now we'll put it together. Kurujigi, ku bosque. Nice. Imberi shure. Kurujigi. Kuboskwe. Imberi shure. All right. Now, this game is kind of exhilarating, so we probably need to stretch first. Let's get our bodies ready. Stretch up tall. Stretch one way. Stretch the other way. Roll your arms back. Good musicians need to have their bodies ready too. Roll forward, shake out one side, shake out the other side, shake out a leg, shake out the other leg, shake it all around. And that helps if you are tense in your body. When we start singing, our voice will be tense too. So that's why it's good to just stretch up, make sure you're feeling good. All right, now I wanna see if you can figure out what these words mean by what I'm doing. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Imberi, shure. 
Imberi Shure Kurujigi Kubosque Imberi Shure. Now, we're already going directions, that's right. So now which one means what? All right, and this is, it's kind of confusing when you watch on the camera and it looks like I'm going a separate way than I really am. So I'm gonna do it this way so you can see which direction each one of these words is pointing. Imberi shere, imberi shere. Kurujigi kubosque imberi shere. Kurujigi kubosque imberi shere. All right, I'm already kind of out of breath. So what do you think imberi means? Imberi is gonna be forward. I heard some of you out there. If imberi is forward, which way do you think is shere? That's right, backwards. All right, so we know forward and back, forward and back. Hmm, what do you think these are? Kurujigi, kuboskwe. Which direction do you think rujigi is? Some of you caught on. It's got an R there that helps us remember. That's to the right. Ku is kind of a word in there like our words too. So we're going to the right, to the, what do you think boskwe is? If Rujigi is right, what is Bosque? That's right, we're, we went this way, now we're going this way. And sometimes if I can't remember my right from left, I like to put my hands up here like this. That one's backwards, so that can't be left. This one is an L, so that one's going to the left. Very good, and then you already know these again. So if we were gonna sing this in English, it would be, forward and back. And when I say sing this time, it's more like a chant. It's not really singing a melody. We're just doing a chant as we warm up our bodies. So we're going forward and back, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back. So you may have noticed that I went a little bit faster this time. That's the rhythm. That's the tempo that we're going to go. So let's listen one more time. Are you ready? Forward and back, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back. Now that's a lot of jumping, especially if you're old like me. So let's practice. Let's pretend you've got a little hand person here and let's try the directions together. We're gonna go forward and back, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back. That's pretty good. Well, now let's see if you can use your feet. Forward and back, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back, to the right, to the left, forward and back. But that's pretty easily in English. Let's do it again, and this time in Shona. Remember, Shona is the language we're learning from Zimbabwe. Here we go. Imberi shere, imberi shere, to the right, to the left. Oh, I did it in English. Kurujigi kubosque imberi shere, kurujigi kubosque imberi shere. It's confusing for even me who's been doing it for a long time. Let's try it again this way so you can see which way I'm going. Imberi shere, imberi shere. Kurujigi ku boskwe mberi shere. Kurujigi ku boskwe mberi shere. Whew, I don't know about you, but I'm warmed up. My body is crazy tired. All right, but there are a couple of ways that we can do this for fun, whether you're at home or whether you're outside, wherever you are. When I was in Zimbabwe, they had a lot of sand in the dirt, and they would just take a stick and make an X. We don't, have, we don't have dirt in here, but I have these tiles. And if you look, we can make this our X. So what we're gonna do is start here, and you're gonna go jump and try to jump in each place without touching the line. So it's gonna be 
Imberi shire, imberi shire. Kurujigi ku bosque imberi shire. Kurujigi ku bosque imberi shire. So it's going to kind of make a four. Imberi shire, imberi shire. Kurujigi ku bosque imberi shire. Kurujigi ku bosque imberi shire. All right. You can try it. If you have tiles at home, you can find an X in the tile and jump in Berry Sure. In Berry Sure. Kurujigi ku bosque in Berry Sure. Kurujigi ku bosque in Berry Sure. Now, when we were there, you know, our American culture, we're always, I'm very competitive. And so I was always like, so how do you win? Is it who does it the fastest? Is it who does it without touching the line? How do you win? And they just kind of looked at me and they said, Miss Cindy, we just play to play. So there wasn't a winner and a loser in most of the games that we learned in, in the Shona culture. They were just fun and to have a good time. So I hope you will try that with your friends. I've got a couple videos of a class many years ago with, that was doing this and they did it together going one direction and then they did it in a group facing each other so take a look at some of those and see how you want to do it and as long as you can do it safely with some friends of yours or at home with your family <laughs> The next song that we're going to learn is that very special song that was sung to us as we were coming into the village. We were coming to the Mondoro villages and it took a long time to get there. We flew into Harare, Zimbabwe, the capital, and then we had to drive out to the villages, the Mondoro villages. And there were actually five or six villages that came together to the uh, community center because they knew we were coming. And we thought we would be there early in the morning, but traffic happened, lots of things happened. We didn't end up getting out there till it was almost evening, so 4.30, 5 o'clock. These people had been waiting all day for us. So, you know, here in America, if somebody's not here in 10, 15 minutes, we're like, mm, they must not be coming, I'm out. But there, they were so excited about us coming and they wanted to be respectful and wait for us. And they were so kind. And the women of the village all gathered together as we were walking down uh, straight to the community center area. There was a huge big oak tree. And I have a video clip for you that I hope you'll be able to take a minute and watch as they sang to us, Ngat Sangani, and, and, and explained to us that it means we're gonna all come together and be friends. Let nothing come between us. And what a great message doesn't matter what religion, what color your skin, what you believe, which, where you come from, let's all be friends and work together and let nothing come between us. So that's what this song means. <laughs> Let's meet together with our friends.
let's go through the language. Just like we did in Emberi today, we're going to go through each word and I'm going to break it down for you. Now, some of you may have noticed that their vowels are similar to ours, but a little bit different. So let's go over that real quick. We have the same vowels, but in the Shona language, A, where we say A or E, eh, they are going to say ah. For our E sounds, this is going to be our hard A. So when you see the E, you're going to say A. So we have A, A. Now with the I, this is where we get the E sound. So we have A, A, E. Not too hard. It's very similar to some other language that you may be learning at school or other places. Same, same sounds as you hear in Spanish and some other languages as well. O is going to be O, and U is going to be that oo, oo sound. All right, so we have A, A, E, O, U. And if you can remember that, you're going to be able to read Shona and then figure out, I love Google Translate. So you can put words into Google Translate now. And if you could read it, then you could go see what does it translate literally to. All right. So let's start with the first one. We're going to break it up in syllables. Nga. And notice that I did the ng first. It's kind of like when we say the word hung or rung, that ng ng. You're putting the N and the G together. Nga. Good. Now the next one, sa. This is like when we say the word pizza and you have that sa sound. So it's sa. Good. Nga. Sa. Nga. Ne. Very good. Let's put it together. Nga. Sa. Nga. Ne. Nga. Sa. Nga. Ne. Very good. All right. Now it's going to be easy for you. Na, vo, navo. Va, ain, z. Va, ain, z. That was kind of tricky, isn't it? Right here. Va, ain, z. Nice. Let's do this one. You already know it. Ngat, sangane. Good. Ti, ve, ti, ve. Mu ri. Notice that H is just kind of adds a little extra air. So it's mu ri. Mu ri. Very good. You may have noticed I, I flipped that R just a little bit with my tongue. It's kind of like a soft D. Mu ri. Very good. Im we. Im we. Tive mu ri im we. Very good. Na, je, su, je, su. Now this one is close to the nga, but now it's got the y in it. Nya, nya, ma, nya, ma. Very good. Ne, mwe, ya. Now, in our culture, if we're splitting up syllables, we'd usually put the mark here and do ne, I mean, after the M and do nem, we, ya. What they, they would break it up, ne, mwe, ya, ne, mwe, ya. Very good. Just a little bit of hit difference there between those two and the way you say it. So we've got ngat sangane. Navo vainzi. Sangane. Navo vainzi. Good. Ngat sangane. Tive muri imwe. Very good. Na jesu. Nyama nemwea. Good, and I saved my favorite for last, or it just kind of worked out that way. Ti, re, ti, re. Ge, re, gere. Ti, re, gere. 
Very good. Ku, tsa, there's that pizza sound again. Wu, ka. Ku, tsa, wu, ka. Very good. And again, it means let's greet the visitors together as one with Jesus, flesh and souls, not to be separated from good to bad. And when they say that, they're talking about whatever religion, whatever you come from, don't let anything come between us. Let's all be friends. Let's work together. And here is how the melody sounds. Ngat sangane navo vainzi, ngat sangane tive muri imwe, na jesu nyama ne mueya, tire gere kutsauka. Very good, but don't worry, I'm not going to make you do it all together at the once. I just wanted you to get to hear it all and make sure you also watch the video that goes along with this where you see the women singing this to us as we were coming down to the community center there in uh, the Nimbe community center there in Mondoro village of Zimbabwe. All right, please be my echo. Ngatsangane. Good. Navo vainzi. Ngat sangane. Tive muri imwe. I heard some kind of marshmallows in your mouth there. So let's get it really clear. Tive muri imwe. Good. Let's try it together. Tive muri imwe. Very good. All right, let's go keep going. Na Jesu. Nyama ne mueya. Tire gere kutsauka. Very good. Let's see if you can sing that with me all the way through. I'm just going to add us a little drum beat to it. which means good work, way to go. So there's some movements that we could do to this song or with this song. If you want to do this with some friends, uh, maybe as a welcome to some other people, maybe you want to welcome home mom and dad from work in a fun way, or maybe you want to welcome some people when we finally get to be all together in different places with a song from Zimbabwe. So what we will usually do is just kind of walk in place. Ngatsangane navo vainzi, ngatsangane. Now when we talk about coming together as friends on tive muri imwe, let's go ahead and reach up, clasp our hands over our heads like we are one, we are together. Okay, so we've got ngatsangane navo vainzi, ngatsangane. Sangane tive muri imwe na Jesu nyama ne mueya tire gere kutsauka. Good. And you can either move one way and the other way or just walking in place as you do that. And we have a video clip of some kids many years ago at Monroe Elementary that we're doing this song all together. And you can see how those movements look together as well as the video from our friends in Zimbabwe who sang it walking down the trail to where we would all meet together and be friends for that whole time we were there. And still many years later, we still keep in touch with them.
All right, guys, so what do we do if we don't have drums and the African instruments at home? What could we do? We could create some. We could create some. Very good. So we have, I brought some extra stuff. Got some old coffee tins. I had one of my vitamins there. Uh, I even brought some gum. It's still got gum in it, if you like the sound of it. It's kind of a cool shaker. Don't eat all my gum. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So, and then we have some like different, this used to have puffs for my grandbaby in it. Um, these are just different containers. We've seen these a lot lately, our uh, disinfectant wipes. Um, but it's kind of a, kind of got a cool tone to it, especially that end. So you can decide what sound you're going for, what you like. Um, you could also put some things in here and make it a big shaker if you wanted to. So we've got some beans, we got some rice. Um, this had animal crackers in it. And yes, I will admit, I ate most of them. Don't judge me. <laughs> and so you could make this a drum, figure out how you wanted to do it. If you like playing at the top or if you like the bottom. And does it matter if you take the lid off or not? What happens to the sound? What? So I want you to explore a little bit, decide what you want, and then you can also decorate them. We've got some paper, lots of tape and markers. Um, I used a lot of different colored tape on this one. I do have some blue and some different masking tape that you could use markers on and just create you an instrument that we can use over the next few lessons and this one as well as we learn about music from Zimbabwe. Okay. Okay. So just get after it, whatever you want to do. Pick which one of these you want. If you want it to be a shaker, if you want it to be, uh, this is, and I promise I washed all of these. It doesn't have all my germs around it. So I washed everything. Uh, if you decide you want to open it and put things in it and make it a shaker. Uh, we also have some eggs that you could put. This one sounds like it has rice or maybe popcorn in it. So you could use different things like that. This one still needs to be created. So we can figure out what sound you like the best. You can explore with it, put some in it and listen. Hmm, if you think that one's too loud, you could try some of the rice. Thank you. Let's see what that changes to the tone or the timbre. You hear the difference? Yeah. So you decide what you like, or if you want to put a little bit of both into it, you can. Um, and I'll get some wipes so you can, I can clean those off that I've touched and let you guys get started. Choose which one you want. <laughs> You guys, I love your instruments. You did a great job. We have some shakers, we have some drums, and even one that's both a drum and a shaker. Very cool, lots of different things you could do. So let's use those to review the idea of beat and rhythm. And if you think about beat, we think about our heart beat, and it's just that underlying pulse. So keep this and see if your heartbeat or your beat on your instrument can be right with mine. Good, so how would you do the shaker right with our beat? Good, so you might shake it up and down. Yeah. Good, you might go to the side. And so you want those beans or the rice to hit right on the beat. So let's see if we can keep that underlying pulse as I sing our song. Here we go. Ngat sang gan e na vo vainzi Ngat sang gan e ti ve muri imwe Na jesu nyama ne mwe ya Ti re kere kutsa uka Very good. Give yourself a shake or a rumble or a roll. 
Very good. All right, my Tabasa, good work. All right, this time we're gonna do the rhythm. And rhythm is a Greek word that means forward motion or movement in sound. And so what I want us to do, or measured motion actually is what it comes from. And what it means is we've got some stressed and unstressed syllables, short and long sounds. All right, so what I'd like for us to do is use the syllables of the words this time to play the rhythm. So before we were keeping the beat, just that underlying pulse. This time, we're gonna do each one of the syllables. So, not sangane, not sangane. Very good, all right? Navo vainzi. So say, Navo vainzi. Good, all right, so we're gonna sing it through and this time try to be with me on the rhythm of the song. Are you ready? Here we go. the beat and we had the rhythm and we can use either one of those to create what's called the accompaniment so to the sounds that accompany it now earlier you heard me doing so that had kind of the pulse in it but it also had some different rhythms so this time, I want you to just think about what sounds good to your ear. You can either play the beat, or you could play the rhythm. Or you could play a combination of the two, or anything you think sounds good to your ear. Okay? So this first time, I'm just gonna play the beat. Let me lock in there. I'm kind of going a different speed. Okay, and you add what you want to. What do you think sounds good to it? Good? Good. I hope you're playing something at home with us. And I'm gonna sing, here we go. Tabasa, good work. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, the last thing I just wanted to make sure that you have is my Tabasa. We've said that a couple of times, and it means what? Good work, good job. Way to go. The last is a phrase that if I say Munufara Here Mose, which means is everybody happy? Your answer is going to be Indini. Try that, Indini. Ku, ku fara. fara. Look, I am your father. No, indini ku fara. And that means I am happy. So you got to say it like you're happy, not indini ku fara. It needs to be indini ku fara. Yeah, okay, are you ready? So the question and answer. Munu fara here mose? Very good. We'll see you next time. Tonana.